Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago in 2021 is not on. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley made the statement a short while ago during the wrap-up of today's Spotlight on the Budget. He said Carnival is a perfect environment for the spread of the coronavirus. It would be madness to be talking about Carnival in February. I see no future for Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago in the months ahead. And today I can put everybody on notice that unless there's some dramatic wind that will blow across us, whereby Christmas pandemic would have been a thing of the past, Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago in 2021 is not on. The Prime Minister said he knows the decision will have a serious knock-on effect regarding the economic activity associated with Carnival, but he implied it's better to be safe than sorry. Picture Juve morning, but with the coronavirus still a major issue, not only in Trinidad and Tobago, but in the world around us. It's just not on. Let us be thankful that we are still alive to see each other's face. Let us remember what our country passed through in 1918. And the Prime Minister earlier outlined government's priorities for the upcoming national budget as he opened the spotlight on the budget hosted by the Ministry of Finance. Dr. Rowley said that health, national security and creating opportunities for young people were among the major areas of focus. The Prime Minister said servicing the national debt must be a priority. He added that borrowing money to pay off our debts will be painful. If we do not service our national debt or put ourselves in a situation where our national debt cannot be serviced by our own actions, there are consequences to that. The most obvious consequence is to ask for help. And you know where that help comes from. It comes from a place which brings with it more pain, more suffering in a shorter space of time than we could ever prescribe for ourselves. Dr. Rowley said the most vulnerable in society must also be a priority of government. Have a responsibility to all of them, whoever they might be, that whatever we take from the national treasury, from the national resource pool, that we don't take only for ourselves but we ensure that some is left for the least of those who can or cannot look after themselves.